continuing on with our server basics video series this is going to be considered video number seven uh, this is going to be on a group policy object uh, specific to a subscriber's question Kayuki1510 apologize if that's not pronounced right but uh, he asked do you know how to enable remote desktop through the whole domain with a GPO yes I have mine set up here and uh, we have group policy management open so my policy I named it remote desktop so it makes sense um, now I have some firewall exceptions also applied on this policy the main one you will need is this bottom one right here it is Windows Firewall allow inbound remote desktop exceptions the main one that we're going to be using right now is under this path here and I'll show you how to get to that in just a moment but it's allow users to connect remotely using remote desktop services so let's go ahead and right click and edit this policy and we will dig down to where that setting is actually at but just a quick reminder now under here you got a computer configuration user configuration it's going to be under the computer configuration because when the computer turns on and is authenticated with the domain it is going to apply this policy no matter if a user is logged in or not so under policies we're going to go to administrative templates and we can kind of we can kind of find out where it's at by following this path let me clean this up here let me minimize that so first we're policies administrative templates Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop session host, and connections. That's the path where we're going to try to dig down. Now, if I can remember Windows component, I believe it was remote desktop services down here. Uh, remote desktop session, and what was the last one? Connections. So under connections, you can see I have a policy set right here. It says enabled for allow users to connect remotely using remote desktop services so you can just double click that and click enable this allows this setting so when you right click on a client machine and you go to properties you go to remote settings it actually configures this setting right here and you can see it's grayed out here because um, you don't want any of your clients to be able to change that option so